Thanks for rolling up. Chip Lamar, you certified pothead. Rolling up one of my uh It's like one of my morning spliff joints. We dropping all out this joint. It's uh we're gonna be taking it check checking in our closest weed homie, man. Um Wait, 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 we ain't been around here to fuck with this nigga for a minute. Let's just jump in, bro. Up until a few years ago, Marissa was a phenomenal young lady. A few years ago, she started smoking marijuana. This past summer, she decided it would be a great idea to sneak two boys into our house. Marissa has stolen my car at least nine times. She's an amazing young lady, but it's like a light switch. She becomes the manipulating, the lying. I put together a timeline of behaviors. December. Hold on real quick, bro. Let's try to predict what we about to have happen. Um, now, they say this little girl started smoking weed and they started doing all kinds of shit. And what I think they're going to do is try to say that the weed is the cause of this. They're not going to attribute it to it's a teenager, you know what I mean, going through teenage shit. Fourth of 19, she steals your car. Then shortly after that, she sneaks a boy into the house, then steals your car, gets high, and drove into a ditch. I have made a lot of bad choices in the past. I've stolen my mom's car nine times. I sneak out in the middle of the night. I think my mom is overprotective. If I looked at half of your resume, you are a pretty exemplary young woman. Thank you. If I looked at the other half, uh, I'd put the cuffs on you. Do you feel that she doesn't? Again, that's, that's teenage shit, man. Sounds like a teenager, but let's let let's let Doctor Phil let's let Doctor Phil do what he gonna do. Trust you? Yes, a hundred percent. Are you trustworthy? No. What do you think about this set? of parenting choices in this situation. Well, here's what we do know. Science is telling us that if we really want to raise a thriver, it's a balance. What I'm worried about is it's going this way. You always need to recognize that when you deliver any kind of a consequence to a child, you got to be calm yourself. I can see the grounding. I can see the extra chores. The two things that worry me most is that we're seeing an epidemic of lonely kids. Kids learn about themselves by observing themselves master their environment. Yes, if we keep bubble wrapping our kids, we're not doing them any good at all. Okay, 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 okay. So so we got a child, you know what I mean, whose mom don't know how to fucking uh, uh, discipline it. Why is this on my weed feet? Because she smoked weed before? Let's go. Why do you think you immediately lie over the stupidest things? I'm scared of what you would say if I said the truth. One thing about lying is that it is a learned behavior. And one of the big reasons why kids begin to lie is they don't want to disappoint us. There is a breakdown in communication between this mother and daughter. And I want Marissa to let her mother know the things that she is not picking up on when it comes to her needs. And Marissa is going to read these to her mother. Here's why your discipline isn't working. Take. Dr. Phil, um. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what he ever do. Taking everything from me shuts me out from everything, and it makes me want to take advantage to sneak out. Thank you for caring enough to tell me that. I'm scared that she won't ever be able to trust me again. Thank you for caring enough to tell me that. I love you. <laughs> Since that was that was sweet. Appearing in studio, Heather says her daughter Marissa, who is now 16 used my and Dr. Michelle Borber's advice as an excuse to blame her for Marissa's bad behavior and continued to go down a destructive path, which included fights, drugs, and an alleged plot to murder her. Goddamn, bro, see? 
That's what happens, bro. You get a motherfucker to go old, go old Dr. Phil. Well, uh, and then you know what I'm saying? They, um, go left, left side, bro. Now, Heather wrote my staff again, begging for me to have them back as a last ditch attempt to not only save her daughter's life, but to protect her own. Since being on the show, Marissa's behavior has gotten way, way worse. Less than 12 hours after getting home, she was on social media bragging about making out with two boys. This spring, she was caught again at school with another vape, and she got a legal citation. She has stolen my car at least 15 more times. She is still smoking weed and drinking. Marissa has gotten in more fights. The last big fight was in July. It broke my heart. <laughs> <clears throat> Who wants to see their daughter get the crap beat out of them? Two weeks ago. Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Um, all right, all right, Bob. All right, Bob. You might, you might got some shit with you. You might got some shit with you. Um, I, I didn't even hear how old this this child is. Let's let's see if, if we can if we can if we can figure it out. Oh, I found a message on Marissa's phone saying that she attempted to kill me. I put seven hydro in her drink, but she ended up not drinking the drink, so she would have been dead. Too bad she not. I also found out that Marissa had been taking some of my hydrocodone. I found a selfie with two of them on her tongue. So last time that we were on this show, she was able to pull the wool over everyone's eyes. I do think she played Dr. Phil. According to her, all of her behavior is my fault. Why do you think we're here again? Because you need help on parenting. There is not a day that I do not fear it's about what she's doing that day, where she's going, who she's with. I thought that she was doing a lot better, but behind the scenes, she's a completely different person. Do you have a story or a question? Uh, 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 uh. You know what? I was about to say, uh, when we jumped into this, bro, I was thinking, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe, maybe Bob's overreacted. We, we ain't, we ain't taking her daughter down, over down, down the wrong path and shit, but <laughs> some people, some people shouldn't be smoking, bro. Some people shouldn't consume weed, bro. At least, at least until 27. It uh this 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 is this is one better. Keep this girl with we bro for a seat. Do some dumb ass dumb shit. Alright, Dr. Phil. You win on that one, bro. You win on that one. 